Hey everybody. So the reason for making this video is because I wanted to explore waypoint flying on the Inspire, and I'll tell you why. I've done a few uh, television commercials, like for car lots and stuff, and I've done some shots in the film industry where the director of photography wanted the drone to just fly a straight line, like maybe over people as they're walking, or behind them as they're walking, or maybe following a car, and keep when the wind is blowing from side to side, no matter how good the drone, they tend to want to drift right and left, right and left. And so, you know, after a couple of takes, it becomes really frustrating to try and hold the line, keep that drone to hold the line. Well, we've got this thing called waypoint flying, which is pretty cool. And instead of having that human reaction to the drone being pushed over, now the computer takes over and adjusts a hundred times a second or something like that. So when the wind pushes the drone, it tends to hold the line better. So here's the thing though. There's, there's no documentation on waypoint flying for the Inspire. They're, they tell you that there's three modes. They don't tell you what those modes do. And even though there are some tutorials on YouTube from both DJI and private owners of uh, Inspires, there's really no comprehensive information about how these waypoint uh, modes work. So that's what this video is going to be for. I'm going to explore the waypoint modes and talk about exactly what they do and that way you can pick the mode that is best for your needs. All right, everybody. Welcome to my video. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to fly the three different waypoint modes. We're going to do the constant with record mode, constant with route mode, and free mode. The low point has been take off. So now I set up some uh, waypoints earlier. So here's what I'm going to try and do. I just, I'm doing a television commercial, let's just say a car commercial, and the owner of the lot wants me to just fly a straight line down, down the lot. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shoot, I'm just going to try and fly straight down this street. And you're going to see that it's really not very straight. As much as I'm trying to hold the line, not really holding the line very well. So we're going to turn around. We're going to come back. And again, we're going to try and hold the line. Right now I'm flying line of sight. I'm just looking at the vehicle. Now, if the, if the director wanted me to fly slower than that, that would be really hard to do. So what I've done is I've set up some waypoints. And so now we're going to try and do this. I want to show how steady this is going to be with the waypoints, but also I want to show the different waypoint modes. Now, for what I want to do, I'm going to use the constant with route mode. What that means is the camera is going to face forward the whole time it's flying and go. And so here she goes and you know she just flies straight. We're going 7.8 miles an hour and she's holding the line really well. So here, I'll, I'll let you see the, the ground too. It's a real crappy camera, by the way, just so you know. She goes down. I'm going to turn around. The camera's facing forward the whole time. So this is the constant with route mode. This is the mode that I think most guys would use. Now watch how she rounds the corner here. The camera continues to face forward and then she stops. And that's that's the end of the uh, that's the end of the waypoint flying. 
So now I'm going to exit out, and I'm going to fly the waypoint again. But this time, I'm going to fly it with consistent with record mode. Or consistent with recording mode. Uploading the waypoints. Now this time you'll notice, so she's going to the first waypoint. And this time you'll notice the direction of the camera right now, it's consistent, it's facing forward. But now what she's going to do is she's going to do an arc. When she hits the end point here, you notice the camera is going to sort of like arc around. It's going to swing around slowly. See how she does that? And that's to the second waypoint, or that's actually the fourth waypoint in the middle there. And then when she gets to the corner here, Again, she's going to do that swinging arc. And that's the consistent with record mode. I see no use for that. <laughs> but who knows? I don't know, maybe some, someone more creative than I am. So now I'm going to exit out, and we're going to do our favorite mission again. And this time, so I'm going to bring her back. All right, so I got the camera facing east. We're going to do our favorite mission again, fly. So this time I'm going to go in free mode, and I think the camera's going to stay facing east no matter what. So I'm going to hit apply, apply, uploading waypoints, nope, oh yeah, okay, well, oh the camera's facing west. So the camera's facing towards us the whole time. And I don't know what, what determines which way the camera's going to face or the drone's going to face, but the drone and the camera are both facing west. We can zoom in on that so you can see. And now she's coming back towards us and still maintaining that heading. still facing west and when she turns the corner here she's gonna stay facing west so I could see where there might be a use for that so now let's see what kind of camera control we have anyone that knows anything about these waypoints you can use the screen to control the camera anytime you want but what I would like to do is I would like to use the joystick to control the camera. So let's bring her back over. I'm flying and operating camera at the same time. Multi-talented. Thank you very much. Let's bring her in. Turn her around. All right, so now I'm going to I'm going to fly I know for a fact if I fly in co constant with record mode that I can't control the direction of the drone. And I'm pretty sure the constant with route mode, I can't control the drone either. I can control the camera, the direction of the camera, but I'm going to try free mode and see if I can actually rotate the drone. And that would be useful because that would keep the hardware out of the shot. So let's try that. Favorite mission. Apply, we're going to do free mode, apply, apply, uploading waypoints. Alright, so now she's flying backwards. Let me see if I can't rotate the drone. There I am, I'm rotating the drone. And so now the camera is facing the way I want it to face. That's useful. I can rotate the drone. You can see the shadow on the ground. There, I'm rotating the drone. Yeah, I'll zoom in a little bit. Now she's coming back. I'm going to rotate the drone around towards me. That's, I think that's very useful. 
That's pretty cool. And now she's going to go around the corner. Then I'm going to I'm going to put the cam move the camera to the right as the drone turns left. So there you go. That might be useful, huh? That's pretty cool. So now because I'm in such a tight area, I'm not going to experiment with other uh, ways of well, here. But anyways, let's exit out. Can I operate the, the drone while simultaneously operating the camera? I can. So there you go. That's how those different flight modes work. You can actually, I like the free mode because that allows you to rotate the drone, which rotates the camera. Now, I can rotate the camera, if you look, without rotating the drone. I can point the camera back at us. And I don't know if you can see that or not. There you go, let's go up a little bit. And now I'll rotate the, the camera the other way. So you can control the camera. Now I'm using the touchpad to do that. Which is pretty cool. So now it's facing us again. I'm going to use the touchpad again. So there we are. So now I'm going to reorient the camera forward. Boom. All right. So anyways, so that those are the three different modes. The con constant with recording mode, which does sort of an arc the way the camera sort of arcs around. Then there's constant with route mode where the camera always faces forward. And then there's the free mode that the drone and the camera, you can orient them any direction you wish. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.